Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again, and uh, today we're going to do a little bit something different. I hope you like it, and if you do, please hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video. Uh, let's get just get going. Let's just jump right in. Uh, so we'll go to Tools, and we'll grab a ring rail, and I'll just take that, and we'll go to Gems, and we will go to Gem on Ring Rail, and we'll just go ahead and keep that. And I'm going to select that gem. Don't have to. I, guess. Well, I probably should. Uh, and go to uh, Gem Guides. And this one I'm going to just offset just a little bit, and I'm just going to keep it right there for right now. Uh, and then from here, uh, I'm going to select this ring rail uh, and go to my Tools and grab a profile and I'm just going to keep it simple here I'm not going to get anything fancy just uh, real basic to kind of show you a little bit uh, and right here I'll just take this down to maybe uh, 1.2 you know it doesn't matter uh, one you can adjust it and change profiles and all that let's just make that a little bit bigger 1.4 okay and then i'm going to go down to the bottom hold down shift and snap it there and i'm going to make this one uh of course my 2.5 that i always like <laughs> uh and uh, i'm going to drag this one out to i don't know say around a four and i'm just going to go ahead and activate auto sweep and just say that's what we want right there boom okay uh now what i'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, front right here. Uh, and, well, first, let's go ahead and get that head on there. It's probably best. Uh, so let's just grab that stone, go to settings, and we're just going to select head. And in the new update they have in the 3.4 version, uh, we have a command over here. I think I showed it in a video or two back. I'm just going to go uh, to point, right? And let's change that so we can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, the first thing I want to... Uh, depth, uh, yeah, maybe up just a pinch. Uh, and I'm going to, I think, rotate that just a little. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to level four for my rail here. I want this top rail. And I'm going to drag that down a little. And then I'm going to just drag it back up. And seeing how we got uh, a lot of room under there, I'm going to go ahead and open it up a little bit. Uh, so we still can't see it from the top, which is fine. Uh, and that's probably a little bit, but you can put stones in there or whatever. So we'll just go ahead and hit that, take that. Uh, I'll go back to my wireframe here, and we'll go to all perspectives. And then uh, I'll go to my curves menu. Uh, just grab me a line. And we'll change that to yellow here. And I'm going to go to my quad here and just draw a line straight down. Doesn't matter how far. Uh, well, maybe it does, because I think it'll join them together. Oh, I could probably select uh, quad, and I'm just going to hold down shift, turn off my grid snaps there, and hold down shift and kind of just put it in there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is we, we have uh, several ways we can kind of play around with this, right? Uh, we'll need to see that line. So uh, we could go to our, our parametric uh, blend curves, right? Select this curve and select this curve here and flip those. And it gives, well, flip the, the one here, I think. Nope. Add it backwards. And we could drag that out a little bit or whatever, something like that. Uh, but you don't have a lot of control over it, right? I mean, you can kind of get a little bit, uh, but not not a whole lot. So this probably won't be parametric, but it will be dynamic. So uh, you can adjust it as, as needed or whatever, because that line right there won't stick with that curve anyway i don't believe uh so we're going to back out of this blend curve real quick and then we're going to go to the old uh blend curve non-parametric but this time we're not going to take the blend curve itself we're going to take this adjustable blend curve and we're going to go and select oh that's definitely not the one i want right click that back we're going to click on this one here and the one down here right uh and hit enter so we have this right now this one's going out the wrong way unless you want it that way i guess 
Uh, so that's number one. You can tell by the one there. So we're going to go ahead and flip that one, bring it out this way. Now we have a little bit more control. If I hold down shift and pick a point, uh, they move together. Uh, and uh, if I just pick one, it kind of moves by itself. So we're just going to kind of go in here and adjust something, you know, a little bit. Uh, let's see. What, uh, let's, we'll pick this one, drag it down a little. Uh, something like that. I'm not going to get too fancy right now. Uh, and then just go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's pick this one. I'm going to hold down shift and there we go. Something like that. Maybe bring this one out just a little bit more. There we go. You can uh, play around with it as much. And then also after you see, we broke history there because it broke history with the uh, gym guides. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we've, we've lost parametric history, so we can't take the ring and just size it. But we can adjust it uh, in, in, with a dynamic command with record history on, if that makes sense. You'll see in a minute here. Uh, so right now we have uh, this, right? And I, I just should have clicked... Uh, don't join uh but uh it's it's it doesn't matter because we still can manipulate the profiles right in the sweep uh so we have this so let's go to uh our yeah tools sorry and no 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 or, or yeah tools and grab a profile i'm not going to get like i said two fans i'm going to switch this to uh frontal and then I'm going to just drag this down to maybe a one and drag this one, oh, not that way, drag this one over to a one as well, something like that. And then I don't want it so high. I'm going to, well, we'll just leave it there for right now. Uh, and then down here about my mid, where my mid is, so let's go to the front, uh, right around here. I'm just going to click one there. Go to my top view and we'll do a little manipulation we'll drag it out like this and kind of maybe oh not that way i don't know why i'm grabbing that today uh something like this right here and we will uh drag it over just a little bit we'll just go ahead and activate auto sweep right so now we have something like this now we can play around with it uh you know however you want and we'll drag that one down a little so it's kind of going into our prong there Maybe that's a little too high, so we'll we'll bring it down some more, and uh, we'll bring it over a little. Oh no! Oh my! Uh, bring it over something like that. Kind of take a look, see what we got going on. So it's going into our prong there. Uh, we want it going into our prong and our base here. So we can play around with it. And maybe a little in. So it's not sticking out on that side, something like that. And you can do the same thing down here at the bottom. Just go ahead and click on that profile there. And just kind of move it to wherever you're kind of wanting it. We can kind of see a little bit of it right there. So we'll drag it up a little bit and maybe make it a little bit smaller. So it's kind of going into our shank, something like that, right? Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And then from here, we'll take this and we'll go transform and we'll do the uh, parametric mirror and we'll switch it to all fours. And we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And now we have a ring like this, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, so there's a lot you could do there. If you wanted to do one, uh, you could do one and then blend the, the other side too, and then maybe adjust those in different uh, ways or whatever, uh, or change profiles. I mean, there, there's so many, so many possibilities you could uh, really work on here, and you could always go back and adjust the head uh, and, and do all that kind of stuff if you wanted to. I think we're on still in level four, so we go back to level one. We can adjust this however we want. Uh, you know, you can keep on playing around with it. Uh, but just a real quick video on to making something a little bit different. Uh, but that adjustable, uh, adjustable uh, curve, uh, there's, a, there's so many possibilities here. You can actually use this to... Uh, uh, 
do surfaces. You can blend surfaces with the adjustable curve from points. Uh, we'll get to that maybe at another date. But I just wanted to show this real quick because it's uh, it's something that's just real easy to do. So, uh, you know, and then it, you can play around with those and all kind of stuff. So hopefully this will be useful and helpful. And if it is, please uh, hit that like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Appreciate your time. Thanks very much and good designing.